Hello, my name is George Bentinck and I'm a sales engineer with Meraki. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your first Meraki access point. In my previous video I showed you how you could configure your Meraki dashboard account which is used to manage your access points and other network devices and today I'm going to show you how to set up this access point in a similar quick and easy fashion. Now if you want to try this yourself please go to meraki.com, click on company and then click on webinars and sign up for a webinar. All attendees to Meraki webinars get free access points so you can give this a go yourself. So your free access point has arrived, here you go, nice and speedy, this is a Meraki MR12. Now in my previous video I showed you how to set up your dashboard account, now I'm going to show you how to set up the access point as quickly as possible. So open the box and inside you'll find an access point and you'll find all the screws and mounting hardware you need to get this access point mounted somewhere nice and convenient. Now this all comes as standard, you don't need to order this separately, but we don't need that right now so I'll put that to one side. So if you turn the access point over, on the back you'll see a number of connectors. We have the uplink connector here and we also have the secondary connector if using the access point in a teleworker scenario. Now I have a Meraki PoE switch that we'll be using to power this access point. So I'm just going to plug the Category 5 cable, which I have here, into the uplink port like so and just tuck the cable into the cable retaining groove like that. Now if you want to use this access point without PoE, you can use a separate power supply and just plug it in here. Particularly useful if you're using this access point in a mesh scenario where you have no wired connectivity. Now if I turn it over, we'll see the uh, front of the access point where there are a number of LEDs. This one here, which is the power LED and currently orange, showing the access point is booting. We also have the link LED, which shows that the link to the network switch has come up. And we also have these LEDs up the top here. These show the strength of the wireless mesh connection this access point has to the rest of the network. Now this LED has now gone green showing the link to the network has uh, come up and these access point LEDs up here will now go solid green. This shows that the access point has full connectivity to the network as I'm using a wired connection for the access point it doesn't need to use the mesh to send the client data to the rest of the access points. Now we just need to wait for this LED here to go green and that will indicate that the access point has registered with the cloud controller and is now ready to use. So we'll just wait for that one to flip to green and we'll be ready to go. So there we go, access point is now ready to use. So there we go, in just a couple of minutes we've got the access point up and running. In my next video I'll show you something else.